Blessed day everyone, welcome to our fourth day of our 25th week and today we'll be hearing from someone from Ukraine and his name is Mikola Lelyovsky Lelyovsky from Grace Bible Seminary and he will be reflect, reflecting on Ephesians 3, 14 to 15 at ang title ng ating pagbubulay-bulay, uh, ating devotion is We Have a Father Ephesians 3, 14 to 15 For this reason I bow my knees before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name and uh, Mikola writes Moved by God's glorious grace Paul bows his knees before the Father to pray his bowed knees expresses express humility and his reference to God as Father expresses familiarity Okay, no? uh, the bowed knee expresses humility and him referring to God as the Father expresses familiarity. In Paul's letters, the fatherhood of God is seen in three ways. He is the father of Jesus. He is the father of all creation. But most frequently, he is described as the loving father of believers. A relationship established through Christ. Don't, don't you forget that. Our a relationship to God as our Father is established in and through Christ. Wala nang iba. Okay? It is, ano sabi ni Cristo, no one can come to the Father but by me. Scripture portrays God as the ideal Father, the Father par excellence. Whatever good that can be said of earthly fatherhood is rooted in the fatherhood of God. Like a good father, God is far more willing to give than his children are willing to ask. As any good father, God the Father is aware of his children's needs. Unlike earthly fathers, however, he has the ability and wisdom to provide exactly what is necessary in every situation. As a father myself, <clears throat> I would give anything in, 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 uh, that's very good for my daughter, Yana. I, I would give anything. Pero... Although that is my desire, I am uh, limited. Hindi ko pwedeng gawin lagi yon. Hindi ko pwedeng gawin consistently yon. Uh, but the Father, who is in heaven, our Heavenly Father, He is infinitely, eternally, and faithfully good. And He has the ability, He is omnipotent, to uh, indeed give us what we exactly need at the right time time and in the right manner and then he goes on and gives us a an ex, uh, a glimpse in Ukraine the family unit in Ukraine according to Mikola has been devastated by alcoholism with many children growing up without fathers I don't think that's uh, confined to Ukraine I think that's all over the world but him saying this Speaks volumes, baka nga malaking bagay sa kanila ito. Although my earthly father was never there for me, I have found great comfort in knowing that in Christ I am God's child, adopted into the spiritual family of my loving, heavenly father. We may trust that our, our father will provide for our needs, protect us from harm, and prepare us to inherit his kingdom. As John writes, see how great a love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called children of God and such we are. And um, I say amen to that. To those of you who um, may have bad experience with your earthly fathers, maybe, I don't know, maybe your father has ab abandoned you, maybe you have a neglectful father, maybe your father has been so mean to you or, or has been hurting you, if you're a believer in Christ, you have become an adopted son or daughter of the Heavenly Father. And in Him, you would have everlasting love. Right? At hindi tayo kung paano tayo finale ng ating earthly fathers, the Heavenly Father would never ever fail us. To those of us who may have, uh, by God's grace, no, sa kanyang biyaya, meron tayo mga loving fathers. And praise the Lord for that. But then again, think about how your heavenly, uh, how your earthly father has been so good to you, 
But we know that they're still limited. At yung kabutihan ng ating earthly father will pale into comparison to the goodness in the truest sense of the word ng ating heavenly father. And so we rejoice, right? That sa biyayan ng Panginoon Diyos in His grace, oops, in His grace, um, we have a loving father. Uh, um, na alam natin na hindi magpapabaya at hindi mag kailan mamang iiwan and knows what's best for us and is determined to uh, um, and, and he would make sure that that ultimate good would come at hand and that is to be more conformed to the image of his son Jesus Christ right while we are still here on earth until we meet him face to face in glory when he comes back for us or when he takes us home right and that is very comforting that we have a loving father at uh, again salamat sa Diyos sa kanyang salita um I just am so amazed with with this grace that God has bestowed upon us be, behold what manner of God love the father has given unto us that we would be called sons and daughters of God and such we are right and that happened through grace, through the finished work of Jesus Christ our Lord. Alright? Sige, salamat sa Diyos sa, inyong, uh, sa, sa ating pag-aaral. And I thank you for joining me. Magpasalamat tayong muli sa ating Panginoon Diyos. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you that we have a, a Father in you. Not just a Father, but an everlasting, loving, and good Father. And we thank you, Lord, that this Father... Uh, has all the intentions and determinations to have His will uh, to come at hand sa inyo pong perfect timing. And while here on earth, Lord, we still thank You with, with how we know You supply all our needs. And there are many times, Lord, that we can look back to many instances, Lord, where You have been so faithful and You have provided for us. Many times in the past, Lord, that we could look back to where we saw, Lord, in every trouble you were there to give us grace, to give us peace, to give us joy. Salamat po ng marayang Panginoong Diyos. Dalangin po namin as we go about our day today that you would just um, enable us to rejoice in that great salvation that we have, to rejoice in that um, wonderful relationship that we have in you, you being our Heavenly Father through... Um, the finished work of our Lord and Savior, Master, King, and Friend, Jesus Christ. Salamat po na marami. At dalangin po na ninyo pong pagpapala sa amin. Kindly protect us. Kindly provide for our needs. And kindly use us, Lord, in spite of us for your glory's sake. Maraming salamat muli sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen at amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a blessed, blessed day, everyone. God bless. Bye.